day. Nape to the opposite fingers, grip the ground with the opposite big toes, back one third tongues, vertical fingers to the thumbs equally. interesting to say the least uh, uh, my left arm was it's like twisted more instead of going like this looking like that is more like that I think that's right um, it definitely felt strange but my left arm as we've discussed is strangely oriented on my body where it's like always twisted like that whereas my right arm is always kind of twisted like that inwardly and my left arm is always like that kind of like this, like that. To exaggerate it, it's like that. So for it to be more like that, I think means I'm more using more of my shoulder instead of like my bicep or maybe another part like my front shoulder. Yeah, you can kind of even see it because look, I used to be lifting like this, and now it's kind of like that. And you can kind of see it kind of tense a little bit more like this. difference this is what I used to be doing you can see that it's like my body map says the hinge is like up here you can even see it but then when I twist my palm forward like so you'll see that the pivot switches from here to here boom so this is the old looks like it's hinging from here you can even see it if you soft focus and then when I twist the palm forward you'll see that it hinges more right here and now boom you can see it just by the way the light bends around it that's old, kind of like a flat surface, and then new, boom. You can see like it pops out and the light shines on it more because uh, it's flexing and like it's actually rotating from this joint. You can even see it with the light as evidence. Right now, it's almost like this is stationary, look. It looks, it actually looks like the joint is up here when it's actually down here. But then when I switch my palm forward, so not, so this is the old, now when I switch my palm forward, right now, it actually looks like it's hinging from here. Old joint, new joint. Old joint, new joint. It's freaking subtle. Boom. New. So old, new. It's subtle, but it's so interesting. It's so clear when you look at it. Like, it makes a world of a difference. Not just in how it looks, but that's one part of it. Not just in how it much weight I can output doing it like that, but that's a part of it. Um, not just the confidence it brings, but that's a part of it. It's also just like how much pain there is not. 
like how much pain I'm avoiding in a good way. <laughs> like how much grace and good feeling there is when doing it. It's not just one of those parts, but it's all of it. I don't know how many of this I can get through. If it's 10, maybe. So, something peculiar has been happening since I've been doing this new body map of the dimples, the dimples of the Adam's apple. Well, this is kind of the sign of any of the success that I've been having in the body map, but this one has frequent results like this. So, one of the ways I've been using to measure the body map is when other parts of your body crack that are satisfying, but not necessarily obviously related to what it is that you're mapping whether it be your throat whether it be your jaw whether it be your chest sometimes you'll be mapping somewhere somewhere else and then you'll get a nice satisfying crack down here on your left knee or down here on your right knee it's probably different for other people but for me that's been my test because my knees have been something that have been not popping but have always felt like there needed to be like some kind of stretch or pop there like most of my life but could never get like anything close to it it just always felt like when i was sleeping or i would have like restless leg syndrome t -t 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 during class or when i'm sleeping i would like stretch my legs but it didn't feel like my legs were getting completely stretched sometimes sometimes it would feel like i don't know it's like they were almost afraid to go into a you know how your arms can do this direction sometimes where it's like the opposite way your elbows normally go this way but there's like there's an angle in which it can go that way. It's like my knees didn't want to go all the way there. It's like they were stuck like right here. When they wanted to be stretched like that, at least sometimes, but it felt like they were always just stuck here. And it felt like a mental block. Like it felt like it wanted to do it, but like I just didn't know how to get it to stretch like that. Anyway, when I've been doing dimples, dimples to the Adam's apple, or rolling the shoulders to the front of the shin, or rolling the shoulders forward or backwards, or chin to the chest, or any of these ones that I've been doing lately. I've been getting a lot of these like, ah, oh, dang, I just did it and you couldn't hear it. Here, move that, move that happen again. I've been getting a lot of like that, but like sometimes it'll end up in like an actual pop. And as one really good sign that the maps that I'm doing are at least like new and valid the same time new and valid isn't that cool first of all no i did not get a haircut you're seeing things okay so here's set three. yes my face has been dirty lately to the opposite fingers, roll the shoulders forward, show the lips, brr, turn on the chest, you know, sitting really lift on the back side, middle of the muscle to the thumbs, you know, the muscle to the dip of the dimple, small of the elbows, fierce as well, dip of the dimple, down the dimple.
I said, my arms feel asymmetric still. My arms still feel lopsided and asymmetrical. Ah! Asymmetry! Asymmetry!